ministry. It's the deaf community coming together. We have seen people getting saved, coming into Christian faith. Uh, we've had joint baptismal services, and I think in our last baptismal service, we had around about seven of the folk behind us get baptized. We called it Fellowship of the King on a Friday, every week on a Friday, but once a month, you know, we have breakfast here, and we all mix together as a church on the Sunday morning. There's so many being baptised as well and love Jesus. We've helped families and individuals uh, by supplying them with free clothing. We've had uh, ladies from the Women's Refuge, uh, students from universities and also uh, people using the food banks um, that we've helped with providing them with some clothing and we've also um, helped a local hospital. So we have a morning where we have members of the church, people who come to the church, they come along and we have um, quite a lot of banter and some fun because some of the husbands who don't attend the church come along as well. It's just getting community involved with a no threatening environment so that you get friendly with them and then they start to come. So it's really important for us as a church, one, to show compassion and provide that, that compassion support but we want to ensure that people understand that Christ is at the center of our hearts, our lives, and everything that we do through the church. So we at Hope are a church with four dreams. One of those dreams is to be a, a place of hope for people on the margins of society. And so we're always involved in uh, work with the homeless, people coming out of addiction or prison backgrounds in the city. Three years ago, uh, the Mayor of Bristol said that he wanted to eradicate involuntary homelessness in Bristol and we as part of the church in the city um, said what can we do in response to this. So the churches together in Bristol have joined to host uh, a night shelter um, across the coldest nights of, the, of each year. So this is our third year of doing it. This year there are 14 churches involved. Sunday night is Hope's Night when we um, convert the hall here into beds and a home for the homeless and we have about 12 guests here on each of those Sunday evenings. It's great because I know, I, I know exactly what they've been through and what they're going through and to give them a bed and a warm meal I, I know, what's, you know what, that, what, what that will mean to them. I find it's actually my favourite night of the week is coming here and spending time with people that just are completely different to me but we just have a great time um, just chatting, just having food together just as like a little mini community almost um, playing games, cards um, uh, so it's just a really refreshing and a just joyful time of the week. The idea of setting up the Friendship Centre was because of all the lonely people in this area. In addition to the fact that people can come and uh, have uh, a good quality home cooked meal at a reasonable price, there is also the opportunity to socialise people who've got various different needs will come and they feel that this is a very friendly environment in which to, uh, to come. I run a special school for children with autism which is just round the corner from the church and uh, my son Philip, um, when he graduated from the school he needed a special package of education and um, his volunteering here is part of that package and it makes a really big difference to him because the people here just naturally know how to support him even though he's got a diagnosis of autism. It stops me from uh, you know, having the mood disorders creep upon me like they used to. It uh, gives me a lot of direction which it would be a bit um, uncomfortable without. So now I'm five years in this church. This is my family now. We've got a sing and rhyme group which, which we run on a Thursday morning sort of just uh, overlapping uh, the, at the beginning of the Friendship Centre time. We've introduced a, a, a 15 minute worship time on the first Thursday of every month. We also uh, run a social activity on a Friday afternoon uh, with table tennis. It's just a way of getting out of the house and interacting with more people and you could just talk to them and have a cup of tea and yeah, just get rid of that boredom really and give them a bit of a purpose. 